Jesus speaks about who he is and about what it means to be who he is. Oh, that's trust. That's trust. That's trust. That's a problem. I didn't mean she knows how to do what she does. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're, we're getting some things together here. We're going to all get it together after a while. Praise the Lord. Amen. And in this chapter, Jesus speaks about who he is. Verse 35, Jesus says, I'm the bread of life. Yeah. I am the bread of life. He says, whoever, whoever eats me, whoever eats this bread, a man will never be hungry again. And will never be thirsty again. Those are those are big promises. Amen. I am the bread of life. Whoever eats me will, will not be hungry and will never be thirsty. And uh, what goes on between 35 and 51 is really an exposition of what what Jesus means when he says, I am the bread, bread of life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first thing he says is that I'm the bread of life who has come down from heaven. I am the bread of life who has come down from heaven. That means that I am unlike any other bread that you have ever had access to. I am unlike any other bread that you will ever have access to. I am the bread that has the bread of life. I have come down from heaven. Amen. So that, that in that declaration, um, Jesus is saying that I am I am the one through whom um, God the Father shares God's self with you. Yeah. I am the one through whom God makes God's self known. I am the one through whom God shares God's self with you. I am the one through whom God makes salvation available to you. Amen. So for, for us, amen, uh, who have come to, to God through faith in Jesus, our faith is that Jesus is what? Through the Son of God. And that Jesus is the bread of life. That Jesus is the water of life. That to come into this relationship with God through faith in Jesus means yeah. that uh, we have access to who God is. Amen. And to what God provides. He's the, he's the bread who has come down from heaven. And so he's the one through whom God makes God's self known. He's the one through whom God shares God's self with us. He's the one through whom God makes salvation available to us. And the salvation that God makes available to us, amen, impacts us in this life and in the life to come. That is why we say we are saved from... And so when we embrace God as revealed in Jesus, Amen. We are able to claim, amen, salvation from sin to righteousness, from death to life, from slavery to freedom, and from oppression to liberation. Because Jesus is, amen, the, the revelation of God. That means that, 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 that in Jesus we come to know who God is. In Jesus we come to know what God's will is. Amen. And we come to know that God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And that God is the creator of all people. Amen. And that God's will, amen, is that all people, amen, will be equally in relationship with him. And that no people shall enslave or oppress other people. And so that when we come into this relationship with, faith, uh, with God through faith in Jesus Christ, then we are able, amen, to what? To give ourselves, amen, to the effort. Amen. That God is always about to make all people one, free and equal. Amen. And so Jesus says, I am bread of life. And to have, to have, to, to, to come into this relationship with me means that you come to know who God is. You come to know what God's will is for you. I am the, the bread of life. I have come down from heaven. I'm unlike any other, amen, bread that you have. Amen. That that causes you to know who God is. That's a that's a bold claim. But that's the claim that we, amen, who are Christians make. That for us, amen, God is known through who? Jesus Christ. Amen. And and that's why we pray in the name of Jesus. That's why when we come together to worship. We worship and give thanks to God for Jesus. Jesus. Amen. That's why, amen. When we want to know how we're supposed to live our lives, we look to 
Amen. 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 When we want to know what the promises that God makes to us are, we look to Amen. Amen. Because he is a prayer. Amen. Amen. And when we come into this relationship with him, we shall never hunger and thirst again. I am the bread of God. I have come down from heaven. I, I make God known to you. That's why we read the Bible. Amen. Because in the Bible, in the Gospels, in the Bible, in the, in the Book of Acts, in the God's Bible, in the letters of the Apostle Paul, and the other letters, amen, they all bear witness and they give testimony to who? To God in Jesus Christ. Amen. So if we want to get to know, amen, God, we are constantly what, meditating upon the, the scriptures. One of the most powerful moments we had in prayer yesterday was when we asked people to tell us what they knew about Jesus. Amen. And folk all over the room just rose up and said, on the basis of their knowledge of the reading of the scriptures, on the basis of their experience, this is who they know Jesus to be. Amen. Everybody ought to know Amen. who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Because to know who Jesus is is to know who God is. Amen. To know who Jesus is is to know what God is like. To know who Jesus is is to know what God's will for us is. Amen. He is the one who has what? Come down from heaven. Now, when he said that, amen, the folks who heard him got upset. Yeah. Amen. And they got upset. Do you know why they got upset? Because Jesus was a person making this claim. Amen. Jesus was a man making this claim. He was a man whom they 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 had some four one one about. Right. Amen. I am the bread of heaven. I have come down from heaven. They said, No, 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 no. You are you are Joseph and yeah. Mary's son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's who you are. Yeah. We know who you are. Yeah. How can you say that you are the and that you have this bread of heaven that you have come down from heaven? No, you come through. Amen. Through the relationship that Joseph and Mary right. had together. Right. And there's some question about whether or not Joseph is really your daddy. We know who, who you are. How, how dare you say that you are the bread of heaven? How dare you say you have come down from heaven? How, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you put forth this folks, amen, and call folks into this relationship with you? Amen. But Jesus, Jesus held on to the claim, amen, and to the declaration that he is who? The bread of life. He is the one who has come down from heaven. Amen. That he is the son of God. Amen. That in him, God is, 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 is resident in a very special way. And through him, God makes God self available, amen, in a very special way. Amen. And, and, and folks said, no, 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 no. You are, huh? Amen. You are, you are, you are, you are Joseph and Mary's son. We know who you are. You are no different than we are. Amen. You, you have no more, you have no relationship different with God than we do. Amen. How dare you say, amen, that you have come down from heaven. That's why my brothers and my sisters, amen, when we, when we are reluctant to talk about how God is at work in us, amen, it's because people are always convinced that you ain't no different than nobody else. Amen. You, you have no power than nobody else. You have no power other than the power that everybody else has. How dare you claim that God, and that's one of the things they have about our church, that's why we're so reluctant to, how dare we claim that God, that Christ is here for folks through us. Amen. We just spoke like everybody else. Amen. If folks look at us and they say, oh, I know, I know you. Amen. I, I know what you have been. I know what you have done. I, 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 know, your, I know your history. Amen. How dare you claim that Christ is here for you through us. Amen. And when you struggle with that and when you are reluctant to make that claim, understand that that's the same issue that folks had with Jesus. How dare you, a mere man, how dare you, Mary and Joseph's son, claim, amen, to be the one in whom God is alive, the one through whom God makes God's self available through people. 
That's the wonder. That's the marvel of our God. Our God is the God who works for people through people. Through people. Amen. And Jesus said, uh, Jesus didn't spend a whole lot of time arguing with her about that. Amen. He didn't go into a long theological discourse about that. Amen. He, 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 he understood that folks are somehow caught up in their own systems of belief and that you can't not walk out of that. Amen. And so what he did is he said, this is who I am. He said, I understand that you can't, you can't get with that because you have not been dealt with by my father in such a way that allows you to come to that conclusion. Amen. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on being who I am. Well, well, well. Amen. And as I keep on being who I am, God, my Father, will work on you and cause you to come to recognize, amen, who I am. And so our job, my brothers and sisters, and our efforts to evangelize is not to be trying to argue with folk. Amen. Not to try to be drizzled and dazzled by what we say. Amen. But to be who it is that we say we are. Yes, yes. Amen. And it's to be who you be who it is that you say you are. Amen. And as we are who we say we are, amen, then God through the Holy Spirit will work on folk and help folk to come to know who is that, that God is indeed here for them through us. Amen. 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 Then there's a mystery to this thing. That there's, a, there's an invitation that has to be extended. But for the invitation to be accepted, God has to work on folk. Yeah. Amen. And God is ever working on folk. Yeah. Amen. To cause folk to come to recognize who God is and uh, how God is needed. Yeah. Yeah. But that is difficult to happen if the folks who are the agents of God won't be the agents. Because they allow folks who don't know and who have not been dealt with to convince them that there's somebody other than who they are. And so the fact that they wouldn't get with Jesus didn't cause Jesus to stop being who Jesus is. Because they wouldn't get with Jesus didn't cause Jesus to stop doing what the Father had assigned him to do. Because they wouldn't get with Jesus, amen, they didn't then cause Jesus to doubt Jesus' self. Amen. Jesus said, I understand. Amen. Why y'all can't get with me? Y'all can't get with me? Because the Father had dealt with y'all in such a way, amen, as to as to cause y'all to really be open to recognizing what God is doing. But you just keep on living, God. He said, because God will deal with you. Because it's my Father's will that nobody perish, and that all shall be saved. Amen. And that's why he's got, that's why he's coming me. And that's why he's gathering finally a people through me. Amen. Who I'll continue to live in after I've gone on back yeah. to glory. Yeah. Yeah. And so he concludes it by saying, I am the bread of heaven. Yeah. And I have come down as this bread and I will offer myself, amen, as a sacrifice. And I will be resurrected. And as a result of my offering and my resurrection, a people will be gathered. And this people will be the people through whom I continue, amen, to live, through whom I continue to minister, and through whom God continues to draw folk into relationship with him. Amen. So that's the message for today. Who is Jesus? He is the bread of life. Of life who has what? Come down. Amen. amen. And as the one who has come down from heaven, he is the one who, through whom God makes God self. Known. Amen. He's the one through whom God makes God self. Available. He's the one through whom God shares God's blessings of salvation from sin to righteousness, from death to life, from slavery to freedom. He is the one through whom God shares God's self with folks who dare to believe in him because they are responding to the activity of God in their lives. He is the bread of heaven. And when we eat that bread, praise his holy name, we don't hunger anymore. Amen. When we eat that bread, we don't thirst anymore. When we eat that bread, we are able to be, well, how to be, how to abound and how to be a base. When we eat that bread, we know how to have plenty and how to have more. We learn that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. When we eat that bread, praise his holy name, we are not fearful and intimidated when sickness comes upon our body.
somebody because we know that there is no sickness but that is a part of the course of life and that he has healing and delivering power in his hand and that healing and that deliverance may take place in time but if it doesn't take place in time it will take place in eternity he is We know that there is better in eternity. Yeah. Yeah. He's, the, yeah. he's the rain of life who has come down, down to reveal the Father. Yeah. Amen. To make the Father available, to make the Father's will known, to make the Father's salvation available, yeah. and to gather for himself a people who will be his agents yeah. once he has returned on to heaven. And as those of us who make up the church, we are those people yes. who have eaten of that grape. Yes. We are the people who have drank of that water. Yes. And we are the people, hallelujah, who are his agents of salvation, yes. reclamation, yes. sanctification, and liberation, and transformation. Yes. Amen. Because we have given ourselves and our resources to him. Yes. Amen. And he has filled us through his spirit with his spirit, that we might live our lives in accordance with his will and participate in history as his agents. Amen. We have eaten the bread. We have drank the Kool-Aid. Amen. We have eaten the bread. We have drank the Kool-Aid. Amen. And we are living on the basis of our faith. And when folks tell us it don't make sense, we say we know it don't make sense. For the cross does not make sense to those who think they are wise. The cross does not make sense to those who have been hardened by the systems of the world. But to those of us who believe, it is the power of God unto salvation. Because God has chosen those who appear to be foolish in the world to confound the wise. God has chosen those who are weak in the world to bring down those who are mighty. Praise his holy name. And so we may not be able to argue with you in a way that makes sense to you. But if you just keep on living, there'll come a day, praise his holy name, when you will come to the end of your wits and to the end of your resources. And praise his holy name. When that day comes, hallelujah, we'll be there with a cup of cold water. When that day comes, we'll be there with a word of encouragement. When that day comes, we'll be there with all you go. When that day comes, we'll be there as his agent to let you know that he loves you, that he cares for you, that his will is that you claim his salvation. When that day comes, because we're going to keep on being who we are. We're going to keep on doing what we do because we've eaten the bread. We've drank the food. And he now lives and he lives in us. I serve a risen Savior. I know that he is living. Whatever folks may say, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. He, he, he lives, I tell you, he lives, he lives within me. Hallelujah. He's my bread in my starving land. He's my water in my dry land. He's my, he's my strength in my weakness, my joy in my sorrow. He's my 